Hey guys, how's it going? So I did one blitz warm up and <laughs> it was the Anglin Gambit. So it went pretty well. I'm gonna do a rapid, we're jumping right in. Guys, I don't have a super long time today, so, oh, I thought I was playing. <laughs> I thought I would, uh oh, that's not a good start. Oh, uh, and immediately we see something unfamiliar. So let's see, I could go E5 or D5, or I could mirror. No idea what to do against the Van Geet. So let's just, I don't know, I'm defended by my queen, right? Maybe I can play both moves. That would be that would be nice. Yeah, I don't have a super long time today, so probably just going to do one game, win, lose, or draw. What? What is this? Now, something makes me want to push the pawn forward. It would probably be easier just to take Huh. Push or take? Taking seems like the more natural move, so it's probably wrong, because this is a gambit. Wait, Scandinavian. Okay. See, that triggers something. So I know that the right move in the Scandinavian is to take, I think. I'm at least 10% sure. Um... I don't know. I'm going to take <laughs> what I don't know, guys. It's not a gambit cuz he's going to recapture it. So let's see. I can attack his knight or I can just play a quick e5. Let's do that. Then we're going to attack the knight, I guess. You know, maybe I should have done that first. Uh-oh. He can take that pawn and then win my bishop. No, I can drop back. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I thought he had a trick. But at least so far, I don't think I've walked into the trick. Okay, now that's getting scary because my bishop is pinned. If I move my bishop, I lose the game. That that would be just a plain old checkmate, guys. Now, I can fork his pieces, which looks... Oh, wait, my bishop's not defended. My bishop is not defended, so... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> How do I defend my bishop and not lose the game? That's the question. So I go here, he takes, I grab the bishop. There's no checkmate threat, but he takes my pawn with check. I drop back, but I'm down a pawn. That's not good. If I attack his knight, I lose my bishop. That's no good. Mm, guys, I think I've already messed up. I think I've already messed up. Maybe we just offer a bishop trade? Or maybe we defend the bishop with the pawn, or sorry, with the knight. Or what about this idea? Just drop back. We're guarding this square. Yeah, I'm going to do it. We're guarding the square. We're still attacking the knight. Okay, now maybe I attack, but probably not. He can just push the pawn and defend both pieces. Uh, this is not good. That also brings his bishop out. I can attack his knight. He's got two attackers. I've got two defenders, but it does double my pawns, which is not cool. So maybe we just develop 
wait, where can I put my bishop? I don't want to go here or here because I don't want to give up my bishop for a knight. Oh, wait a minute. This is a fork. No, I forget. I already forgot that, yeah, he can defend both pieces. Man, let's jump in and threaten his queen. Oh. He can give me the check. Or pin my knight. If I go here, he's going to pin the knight. Oh, boy. I'm lost, guys. I really don't know what to do here. I kind of want to bring my queen up just to attack that pawn and kind of prevent him from moving. But maybe that's not a good idea. Let's bring our bishop out, shield our king, and now I can develop my knight with no fear. Oh my gosh, I just realized he can move his knight and attack this pawn. So I, I don't know what to do, guys. If he moves the knight, I have to push this pawn. That's okay. But I, I need to remember that. Don't let me forget. Crazy, crazy game. It's one of those things where it's a move order thing. I feel like I got tricked, right? I'm playing the Scandinavian. I don't know how to play the Scandinavian. What happened to the Van Geet? Scandinavian defense closed. Grunfield defense. Well, I know Grunfield is a pretty well-respected guy in the in the world of chess. I think we've all heard of various Grunfields. Okay, so he wants to kick out my bishop and checkmate me. But I'm going to go here. Oh wait, is this is this a terrible idea? I think I might need to block that guy. Oh boy. Or should I just... See, if I get rid of the knight, that's checkmate. Oh my gosh, guys. This is madness. If I take the knight, it's checkmate. If I go here... Then I can trade for the knight. And that opens this up. Oh my gosh. All right, we need to think. I'm gonna take some time and think here, guys. My goal today, since I played chess so badly yesterday, is I don't want to blunder no one move blunders and if i can avoid a trap by calculating a few moves ahead i'm gonna give it a try so i know this guy is pinned how do i get rid of that pin i can push this pawn that is ugly but it does work and then if he attacks i can retreat oh but then if he takes i have to capture with my king that's also really ugly uh, not the end of the world, but it, it's ugly. Okay, so let's look at something else. There's no point in pushing this pawn because he's he's not trying to... Um, What's the word? He's not trying to win anything. He's just trying to distract my bishop. I can't take the pawn, obviously. That that would be losing. I can't go here. And I can't drop back this way. So that's why giving myself... An, okay, if I go here, he might push another pawn. It 
if I take, he can distract my... Well, he can't do it right away, can he? Okay, hold on. If I push, he goes here, I take. He's got to do something with his queen. If he takes the pawn, then there's no more checkmate threat. At least not right away. Um, so I go here, he goes here, I take, he can't move his queen anywhere here, so he pretty much has to take. My original idea was this. And here, okay, let's really examine that. If I jump out and he takes, then there's no more checkmate threat. But my bishop is trapped. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I jump here. He pushes. I take the knight. Okay. I jump here. He takes my knight. I recapture. He pushes here, and I lose my bishop. So I don't think jumping the knight out works. I guess I need to do this plan. I, I can't calculate it fully, but I feel like I have to stop that pawn. And this adds a defender in... Okay, check it out. Now, if he takes, I can take and I'm hitting the queen and still defending this pawn. Okay, see, it all worked out, guys. It all worked out. Now that I've played the move, now I can calculate one step further. So he goes here. I don't have to take. I think taking is okay, but... I can ignore it. If he pushes, I don't care. That just locks this up. Oh my. I mean, he's defended here. Now, I could just kick out the knight. And look, he's going to win this... Dude, what is happening? All right, this isn't actually... Oh, it is. Okay, so I cannot ignore this because now he's got three attackers on this pawn. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my God. Yeah, that's going to be a disaster. So I basically have to take the knight. I don't see any other way around it. And guys, I have a feeling I've already lost the game. I just don't know it yet. I've already walked into something. Um, I have a terrible position. My king cannot get out, it feels like. All right, now, he's attacking my queen, and he's attacking this pawn. <laughs> the only way I see to defend them... Oh, gosh. Yeah, I have to go here with my queen, right? I don't see any option. And we're opening up the king here. This is disgusting, guys. I'm getting absolutely wrecked. All right, guess the eval. Guess the eval. And if you play the Scandinavian, then you probably have some idea because you've probably seen similar situations before. I'm guessing it's plus two and a half. No, you know what? My pieces are so goofy, I'm guessing it's plus three. Plus three for white. I'm going to write it down. Let's see. Uh, move nine plus three. I wrote it down. 
Oh my gosh, this is horrific. Look at this. That is a super bishop. Look at my king. I'm I'm dead. <laughs> I can't do anything. And if he ever gets rid of this defender, look, I can't even bring my knight out now. Because, well, I guess I could. This pawn is undefended. Oh, this is bad. Maybe I need to push this pawn and get rid of the bishop and then hope, just hope, that I can clear out these guys and castle long. That's my only hope here. And I'm going to lose on time anyway. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, he castles, of course. All right, so he's going to attack my pawn, it looks like. I'm going to defend the pawn and hit the bishop. This is such a gross position. Look at this. Look at my knights. Usually I develop my knights quickly. In this game, they're both on their starting squares, which means my rooks are completely isolated, which means various pawns are pinned. Everything is undefended. It's, it's just gross, guys. All right, so if I bring my knight out, I'm threatening to jump here. That seems good. Hold on, let's double check. What's he doing with this piece? I mean, obviously, he only had two options, so there might not be anything to it. He could go here, which is a little scary, not really. If I go here, he's going to pin my knight. That's okay, I... Oh, that's still a pin. I'm doing it anyway, so that I can move my queen without losing that pawn. He's probably going to just start pushing. That's my guess. Let's see. I can put my queen here, which adds a defender to this pawn, defends the knight, and prepares long castle. So if he pins, I go here. He's going to push. I castle. And we're good. Okay, we're going for it. Defend everything. Now, yes, he can double my pawns, but that is a bishop for a knight, and then the queens are off the board, and it's less critical that my king is looking so goofy. Oh, boy. Maybe I should have played this move first. Whoa. Now I'm getting ready to walk into a fork. But it's... Oh, shoot. Oh, no. So if I castle, I get forked. <clears throat> Guys, I have to be losing this game, right? All right. <laughs> New... Okay, now we're on move 13. So I think I've already made some more mistakes, and I'm going to say it's plus 3.5. All right, what do I do with this, with this guy? I have to move something, and I can't move the knight. <laughs> what the heck? Ooh, wait. Move the queen, threatening checkmate. That, that loses my rook, but he can't take the rook because it would be checkmate. All right, let's calculate. Threaten checkmate, offering queen trade. He takes with check. I take. He takes with check. I move up. Is this pawn still there? Yeah, so he does. He cannot checkmate me because I'm I'm like at least a five percent sure the pawn is still there. I didn't draw an arrow on him, but he's gonna. He cannot take because that's checkmate. Oh no! The queen is guarding. The queen is guarding the pawn. The whole plan does not work. This is miserable, you guys. It really is.
um, it's like, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? It's completely resignable. But I don't see it yet. <laughs> like, I'm not 100% sure. So I'm not going to resign. But I've walked into something. This is, this is really bad. Let's see. If I just castle, I've got a rook here. He pushes. He forks me. I threaten checkmate. He takes. I take. I lose my knight. I take the rook. He recaptures. I'm just down. I'm completely lost. Now, if I just take the pawn, then what happens? Well, that's interesting. Why not just take the pawn? Take the pawn. He can take with the rook because my knight is pinned, and then I can't castle, but it's the best I got. Maybe instead of castling, I just need to bring my rook over and say, all right, let's go, let's trade, or let's do something. Now, if I have another move, if he takes with the bishop, I'm going to castle. I think, I don't think there's any tricks. He doesn't have a, he doesn't have a check with the bishop. So I should be okay. I really need to make this threat. It'll almost force a queen trade. I think he needs to take with the rook. Then I have another move where I can bring my knight in the game and maybe castle long, even though that looks insane. But it unpins me, it connects my rooks. That's that's what's really important. It doesn't matter how goofy my pawn structure is. All right, he finds it. He takes with the with the rook. Now I can attack here. I cannot castle, but I want to just connect my knights. Let's connect the knights. Get castled. As soon as I castle, we're attacking that that rook. Because the knight is unpinned. If he goes here, we just trade queens, no problem. What? Okay, he's defending that pawn. That's fine. I'm going to just castle on out of there, boys. Whoo! Okay, I think my opponent messed up somehow, or my eval was wrong, so I'm just going to say move 15. I think it's changed. I think it's going to be plus one. <gasps> okay, just kidding. Okay, I can block, but he just takes. Um, guys, this is resignable. <laughs> it's so funny. I just said it's plus one. Oh my gosh. All right, quick game review. That's my only game for the day. I got wrecked by the Scandi. Looks like my guesses were not... Well, let's see. It's plus two for quite a while. And then I just messed up badly by castling. Ah. Okay. So bringing my bishop out was a bad idea. Yeah, this is such a nice move. Just, I don't know why I thought I could attack the knight. Obviously, he was going to defend it quickly. So let's see what I should have done. I should have brought my knights out. 
Knight c6. That's a weird one. h6. Second best move. Okay. Oh, I could have defended my bishop with my queen. And then eventually I had to move here anyway. So that's a great idea. Again, I should have brought my knight out. So I was kind of preoccupied with bringing this knight out and castling. I thought, okay, let me add another defender to this square and then I can bring my knight out and castle. But it didn't work because what a good move that my opponent found. Just it, my bishop is uh, frozen here. I didn't recognize that until after he pushed this pawn, but my bishop is pinned. Again, knight c6. Now that's mysterious because what's this? We attack the queen. Oh, uh, and he can't go here, here, or here. Oh my gosh. Huh? H takes g6? That makes no sense. Giving up the queen. What? Obviously, I'm about to lose my queen, but I still don't see it. Knight takes e5. What is going on here? Oh, he's going to jump there and grab my rook, I guess. Knight h6. Rook takes. Bishop b4 check. He's going to block. All right, this is way too deep for me. I don't get it. Oh, wait, he's not supposed to take the bishop? Knight f7. Queen h4. Why don't I castle here? Wait, what? I can't believe it's equal material here, even though I won his queen. <clears throat> but he got... What did he get for the queen? I guess he got two knights and a bishop or something. Yeah, that's nine points. That's... That's a rough game. I'm kind of curious if here, instead of finding that brilliant move he's just like okay i give up now it's still even but the queens are on the board and i can save my bishop much better <laughs> anyway playing some good moves for a little while now we are on move 12 i think that was my first guess no sorry move nine Okay, move nine after I moved, I guessed that it was plus three. The correct answer is plus 1.9. I'm going to call it plus two. Oh, there it is, plus two. That's actually pretty close. So I evaluated it almost correctly. Ah, it just dropped down. I'm going to ignore that. It still rounds to two. <laughs> That's pretty close. Now, by move 13, I thought it had gotten worse. Here's move 13. And there, I just made the move. I thought it was plus 3.5 because my king is getting so exposed. But it's actually dropped to 0.7. So I was way off. And then move 15. This is actually really funny. I castle and I think, okay, I'm out of danger. It's dropped to plus 1. <laughs> and now it's actually the highest it's been. Almost plus 3. Oh, boy. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have time for today. Hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a long analysis. 
What do you guys play against the Van Geet? What what are you supposed to do here? Should I have mirrored? Let's see. D5 is the right move. I actually played the number one move. Okay, so I don't feel too bad about it. Where did it all go wrong? Should I have taken? D4 is the best move. Guys, that was the other one I considered. But I thought in the Scandi, you are supposed to take the first pawn. I really thought that. But this isn't the Scandinavian. This is the Scandinavian defense closed already because he did a different move order. So I messed up. I should have pushed D4. That was the second move I considered, but I didn't know how to choose between them. Uh, so I'm going to try to remember that. Going to try to remember that. But guys, who knows if I'll ever see this again. And if I do, will I remember it? Probably not. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.